solo conservationist. So I'm talking to you because I am participating in Plastic Free July. So not doing the entire month, not doing the entire month of July, just going to do one week. Our family is very busy. I wanted to do it last year, but we weren't able to. This year, I think I can fit one week in. So hopefully we can do more in the future. But I wanted to let you know I'm doing Plastic Free July. And so from day one, we had day one of Plastic Free July. Documented a little bit of it. I kind of forgot to document a lot. So if you're unfamiliar with Plastic Free July, that is where for the month of July, or you can do like me and just do one week or one day or an entire year, where you try to not use single-use disposable plastic products. And when you do, you document it so that you keep a mental note and remember how you, what you did um, and how to avoid, try to avoid it in the future. So that is Plastic Free July and follow along to see how my day one was. <sighs> so I did something I probably shouldn't have done. I mean, I definitely should have done it, but not something that works well with Plastic Free July. Oops. Um, I was out running errands and I saw that there were still some edible plants um, in the store. There were some on clearance and our garden has very little in it so I snatched up a bunch of them. So unfortunately we got some plastic pots. Yeah. So plastic free July fail time. I was about to start to prep lunch for my kids and and my daughter came to me and said I was hungry I wanted a snack so I ate all of the applesauce pouches all four of the remaining go-go squeeze pouches so yay so for dinner I made this barbecue beef and beans honestly I just made it because I needed to do something really fast and it took like 20 minutes to make it unfortunately there is a lot of plastic involved in all of those so this is the barbecue beef and beans that I was telling you about so I tried to at least reduce the amount of plastic packaging that we used by grating the cheese instead of using a bag of shredded cheese. Um, so this is what it looked like. This is what it looked like when it was all done. Um, we put it over rice and um, had some watermelon on the side. So it's not, it's not completely covered in plastic, but there are definitely some things that I'm hoping to improve during this week. Um, I want to try and find some plastic free meat. I want to try and find some plastic free cheese. So there you have it. There is plastic free July day one. So let me know what you think and I hope to see you again soon. Now remember this is one of the many ways that we can all work together and encourage each other to practice practical conservation.